Praise the Lord this evening. Welcome to Hymn Time with Jim, June, Shirley, Steve, Henry, and Mike. If you're listening to this program this evening, it is pre-recorded for your viewing, and we'll be back next week with a live uh, program. So right now, I think, Jim, we're going to go to one here that we've uh, worked out this evening. It's one called Crying Holy. <laughs> to the Lord and if I could I surely would stand on that ro rock where Moses stood we hope that you're enjoying the program this evening and we hope that we've worked out something that will be a blessing unto you and I believe in uh, 2 Timothy 2 12 it says if we suffer with him we shall also reign with him so we can count our troubles and trials sometimes a blessing because if we suffer with the Lord Jesus Christ then we will also know that we will reign with him. Okay, our next one on the list here this evening for you is going to be one called I Shall Not Be Moved. Planted by the waters, I shall not be moved. Will I shall not be, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree planted by the
I shall not be moved just like a tree planted by the waters. I shall not be moved. Well, I shall not be, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved just like a tree planted by the waters. thank each and every one that has supported our program from time to time and we've been on for about three years maybe now or a little longer but the Lord has really blessed us and not only financially to keep the program going on but with the prayers of you out there that watches and you that come to be with us each week in the audience so we're just so fortunate to have a hymn time and con con to continue on with it so we're ready now and uh, we want to go on with one here that we've worked out this evening and it's one called Hallelujah, I'm Ready. once again for that song and we have with us this evening Steve Dutton on the five string banjo, Henry Childers back on the guitar, Shirley Denny on the guitar, Mike Bush over on the bass and Jim Dutton on the mandolin and my name is June Dutton as I've always said we make up hymn time and we're so glad to be coming with you each Monday evening from six until seven uh, to be part of your Monday evening uh, program and we have a lot of people that watch us by internet and we hope that they continue to do that. So it's just so good to be with you. You know, sometimes we go through the storms of life, and we go through the trials and the tribulation, but you know there's a rainbow at the end of every storm, 
Why? Because God put it there. Every time you have a real storm, there's a rainbow if you watch for it. And God put the rainbow there. So I'm just so thankful that he's always there for me. So I think Jim's going to do one now as an instrumental. And it's one called Rock of Ages. <coughs> tune Jim called Rock of Ages and we just uh, enjoyed that so much read a little bit for you this evening Psalms 27 a favorite of mine it says the Lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear the Lord is the strength of my life and whom shall I be afraid when the wicked even mine enemies and my foes came upon me to eat upon my flesh they stumbled and they fell though an host should encamp against me my heart shall not fear though war should rise against me in this will I be confident. One thing that I have desired of the Lord that I will seek after is that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me and he shall set me up on a rock. And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies around about me. Therefore Will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy, and I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear ye, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, and have mercy also upon me, and answer me. When thou saidest, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me, put not thy servant away in anger, thou hast been my help. 
Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. And he says to teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over into the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, upon the Lord. That was Psalms 27, favorite of mine, and leave that with you this evening. A little later on, Jim will be bringing you something. So I think we're going to call Shirley, and she's going to come around with one now. And it's called, I Can Call Jesus Anytime. Shirley for a beautiful song I can call Jesus anytime when we get in trouble all we have to do is call upon his name and he's always there willing to come to our rescue at any time it don't have to be during the day it can be in the wee hours of the morning whenever that we need Jesus we can call upon his name and he's always there so we have another tune Jim here an old favorite of a lot of people that we get requests for from time to time and we hope again that we have worked out a program that you are enjoying this evening and it is pre-recorded so it's this one called go rest high on the mountain
gather ground your grave to grieve. I could see the angels' faces when they heard your sweet voice sing. people go rest high on the mountain Psalms 118.6 I believe tells us the Lord is on my side and I will not fear what can man do unto me we need to read the word in order to know what it says and we need to have it down in our heart so that we can stand upon the word of God I believe he says in the beginning was the word and the word was God and it became flesh and it dwelt among us so the word is true tonight we just need to get it out and read it and find out what it says and applies for our life and what it means. But God has been so good to us. He has created many, many miracles in my life. And I love to talk about him because he's the greatest thing that ever happened in my life. He helps me. And Jim, tonight we really miss the audience that we have. Lauren's with us, but she's not doing too much clapping. <laughs> but we, <laughs> we really miss the audience this evening. But nevertheless, as I've said at the start, this is pre-recorded. And we will be back live the next time after you view this program. But God still is so good. So many people writes us. So many people stops us and tells us how they enjoy the program. And we just appreciate that so much. So I think Shirley's going to come around and her and I are going to do one here. It's called I Wasn't There.
okay, I think we're going to take just a little break in, in between right now. And Jim's going to come and bring you some of the word out of the Bible and just uh, preach along with him, pray along with him, and lift him up in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Well, praise the Lord tonight. Get your Bibles and turn it to St. John's Gospel, the 15th chapter. And we'll start out reading in the first verse. Here's what Jesus said. I am the true vine, and my Father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. This is Jesus talking now. And uh, said, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered, and the men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burnt. But if you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done to you. So here's what Jesus is trying to tell each one of us tonight. If we're hooked on to the main vine, and we're just the branches, we have to abide in him. But if we're not hooked on to the true vine, we're going, not going to bring forth much fruit. But I'll tell you what, uh, you might liken it unto an apple tree or something. You know, an apple tree has the branches that branch out, and they bring forth fruit. But if you cut one of them off, it can no longer bring forth no fruit. Or if it's not uh, 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 trimmed and pruned and, and taken care of, it won't bring forth fruit. So... Uh, it's no longer no good to anybody, and the Bible said they just uh, cast forth into the fire and burn. Well, that's the same way of our Christian walk. If we're hooked on to Jesus, which is the true vine, and we're the branches, you know, we can bring forth some fruit. I believe the Bible said, uh, uh, by their fruit you shall know them. You can tell, you know, I don't have to talk to a man over uh, two or three minutes, usually till I can tell what kind of vine he's hooked on to. If he's hooked on to the wrong kind of vine, it'll bring forth the wrong kind of fruit. But if he's a good man of God and he's hooked on to the true vine, which is Christ Jesus, he'll bring forth some good fruit. You can, I'll tell you what, we're living in perilous times and we're living in a world where people don't care for anything and all manners of evil and uh, all manners of filthy language and so on. But, you know, you don't have to be around the fellow very long. Like I said, just two or three minutes, you can tell... Where, uh, how he's living and where he come from, what kind of life he's living and which vine that he's hooked on to. Now I know uh, people will make mistakes and uh, they'll stumble and fall along the way, but I'll tell you what I believe, if we're hooked on to the true vine, which is Christ Jesus, we'll bring forth some fruit sometime. And if we allow his word to abide in us, and if we allow him to prune us, so to speak, and take and cut off the bad parts and get rid of them, then we'll bring forth a big, beautiful fruit. Uh, but, you know, if you don't prune a tree and take care of it, it'll bring forth little old scrubby apples and uh, that's not fit to eat. So I tell you what, we need to be bringing forth fruit for Christ Jesus if we're the right kind of tree. You know, the Bible said, As a tree falleth, so shall it lie. He's likening us unto a tree. And if we're in Christ Jesus, when he comes back through the eastern sky, we'll rise up. Those that are alive and remain will not hinder those that have already gone on, but we'll rise up to go with him. But if we're not, and if we are likened as a tree, and we fall or die, and we're not in Christ, then we cannot rise up to go with him because we're spiritually dead and we cannot go with him. You know, it's not his will. I want you to know this tonight. He said, the wages of sin is death. And if he'd have stopped there, we'd all been in trouble. But you know what? He didn't stop there, but he said, uh, the gift of God is eternal life. So we need 
to, we want that good gift, don't we? Uh, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. The Bible said it's not his will that any should perish, but it all come to repentance. And uh, uh, hell wasn't made for man, but hell was made for the devil and his angels. So it's not his will that any perish, but that all come to repentance and be ready to go to be with the Lord. Okay, June, we're going to turn it right back over to you. When he gets done, he's done, and when he walks off, he walks off. So we'll get the group back up here, and we're going to do some more songs for you, just as quick as they get ready. So I think, Jim, we're going to do one here. At Steve probably kicks us off. I don't know for sure, but it's one called Born Again. You get ready. You ready? Tell me all they thought I got saved He told me what a fool I have been But when my mind goes back To that old bench where I prayed Well, I know that I've been born again Yes, I'm born time that we need to know that we're born again it is now because we're truly living in troublesome times and you say well I've heard that many many times the Lord's coming back well they told Noah to build the ark and he heard that many times but soon the Lord come and he was on the ark and the rain began to come down and it was a little too late for a lot to get in so make sure that you're ready to go when Jesus calls and it's your time to go so, Jim, I think you're going to do one here for us this evening, one called Coming Home.
the path of sin too long I trod Lord I'm coming home yes I'm coming home coming home never more to roam open wide thy Well, I've wasted many precious years. Now I'm coming home. And now I repent with bitter Yes, I'm coming home, coming home, never more to roam. Open wide thy arms of love, Lord, I'm coming. Yes, I'm coming home, coming home, never more to roam. Open wide my arms of love, Lord, I'm coming. tune called Coming Home. So I think we're going to do one song here, Jim. The next one we've got on our list this evening, and again, we hope that uh, you're listening to this, that it's been a blessing to you, that we've worked out something that you will enjoy. And this is an old tune, too. All of them are old tunes that we do. Seems like it, it just touches people's hearts, and they enjoy them. So we're going to do one now called The Church in the Wildwood.
okay. Seems like without all the prayer requests and all the talking going on, it's been a long hour. But nevertheless, okay, I think we got one here, Jim, that you and I and Shirley are going to do, and it's one without any music, and it's called I Need Jesus. <coughs> Yes, I need Jesus, you need him too, along life's pathway to carry you through, when you're in trouble, don't know what to do. Just call on Jesus, 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 he'll carry you through, he'll carry you through. Sometimes I'm forsaken, my load's hard to bear, and I feel myself tremble. Need my load of care. Then I ask this question. Oh, my Lord, how long? Then I hear a voice whisper, whisper, whisper. Soon you'll be coming home. Soon you'll be coming home. Yes, I need Jesus. You need him to along life's pathways to carry you through when you're in trouble don't know what to do just call on Jesus 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 he'll carry you through Okay, Jim, I see the next two songs. Let's do Send the Light, and then we'll do the medley toward the end, if that's all right. <laughs> They'll get on to me here for skipping a song or whatever, but we're going to do one now called Send the Light. <laughs> Send the light, send the light. There are souls to rescue, there are souls to save. Send the light, send the light. Send the light, the blessed gospel light. Let it shine from shore to shore. Send the light, the blessed gospel light. Let it shine. not grow weary in the work of love. Send the light, send the light. Let us gather jewels for the crown above. Send the light, send the light. Send the light, the blessed gospel light. Let it shine from shore to shore. Send the light, 
with gospel light, let it shine Call Send the Light. Okay, Jim, I think if you'll get them out to Key of D, we'll do this one and send it out. Brother Kenton Kenton always watches all the programs, got them all taped, and it's one that he really loves. It's called I Recommend My Lord to You. <coughs> If your pathways are dark and dreary And you don't know what to do If you're ever in need of a Savior I recommend my Lord to you I recommend case is so bad you need a doctor I recommend my Lord to you I recommend my Lord to you I recommend I recommend my Lord to you. tune there called I recommend my Lord to you and if you're ever down and out sick in trouble whatever call upon him because he's always there 
he will always come to you in time of need. Jim, I think if the boys will get in the uh, key of G here, we're going to do an old tune here called I Feel Like Traveling On. Uh, excuse me, where are you getting them songs from? <laughs> I never playing. seen, I never saw them. Where are they at? <laughs> huh? You got about 10 minutes, so just go ahead and play them. Well, I, th I was looking at a different song, so I guess we'll try it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Thank you for staying with us this evening down through this hour. Every Monday from 6 to 7, you can catch him time. Our time is about come and gone, so we're going to, I think Steve kicks us off on this. And it's a medley that we do from time to time in the key of G. And Jim, will, or Jim, which one kicks us off? Steve. Steve kicks us off. <laughs> so just stay with us, sing along with us or whatever. May God bless each and every one of you. Stranger in the night, pray. 
praise the Lord, I saw the light. Well, I saw the light, I saw the light. No more in darkness, no more in night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow. 